This is Phyllis the Donkey Girl. Mr. Jones had a small herd of donkeys that he ran on the western beach of Sunny Rill in Wales. Phyllis the Donkey Girl, the title of Trevor Trower's latest book. The Georgetown resident is quite excited about this one. He says it will be a fun book to read. Well, it's a book of anecdotes. Some people seem to write their biography as a story. So what I've done is a little bit different. I've taken anecdotes over the years, spots like little memories, and I've written a story about them. And that's how I've done my biography. Little stories that have happened over the years. Stories like the book's namesake. Phyllis, the donkey girl, probably she was one of the most, probably one of the most beautiful young women I've ever seen. I never had a date with her or anything like that. But it struck me that her little story was a cute little story to write. And I thought it would make a nice title to the book. There's nothing big about the story. It's a thousand words uh, about an event that took place when I was about 22 years old. In 180 pages, readers will be taken on a journey through a wide range of experiences that made quite an impression on his life. There's a very, very nice piece of history that I had, was part of in 1938. I think that's one of the one of the early, more dramatic stories of Plymouth Navy Week. It's a long history, and I don't think there's anybody in this world alive who's actually been saw that except me. And it was uh, had a, a big effect on me. And that's a very good, very nice little story to read. That was one thing, and it goes right through the war, several incidents of the war. There's an airplane crash, um, which I was involved in, in when I was 15, a Spitfire. It goes right through until recently. And for a 94-year-old to have lived the experiences he's had, Trower says he considers himself blessed. As this, a poor little skinny kid, you know, poor as a church mouse, ragged, snotty nose, to be so lucky in my life all day. And every time I lived in Germany and France, I've been to so many countries with the airline, you know, and my wife to have someone like her, I have been the luckiest person you'll ever meet. For Halton News in Georgetown, I'm Melissa Candelaria. Nothing good, or for that matter bad, ever lasts forever. Mr. Jones, the donkey man, came back on the beach, continued to run the donkeys. His surgery was an obvious success. We all miss seeing that gorgeous young girl, except in an occasional dream. Everything returned to normal on the beach. It was a month or so later that we learned that Phyllis had married her dad's helper at the pig farm. What a waste. She could have married me.